Snow and ice aren't the only winter travel hazards in Wyoming. High winds can be dangerous to trucks that are empty or carrying light loads. Last year, YDOT used research from the University of Wyoming to move beyond simple light and high profile vehicle closures to issuing closures based on specific weights. What we're trying to do is provide the driver the best information possible. Sometimes he's being pushed to go when he knows it's, it's kind of dangerous for him. This gives the driver some information that he can use for his dispatch center and let them know I'm not permitted to travel. While there's not yet enough data to measure the effectiveness of weight-based closures, last year did see a reduction in blowover crashes. So we have a partial season under our belt. Uh, we don't want to declare victory yet because we need a couple of years to show that this is a, a truly effective. The closures apply to specific vehicle and trailer types and are not limited to semi-trucks. The vehicles that we're having the most problems with are the horse trailers, the smaller vehicles that are pulled by a pickup. Those vehicles are not understanding this applies to them too. And it's really critical that they understand that because they blow over just like the, the large semis. This year, the Wyoming legislature upped the penalty for ignoring a weight-based closure to a $1,000 fine and up to 30 days in jail. If they have a second offense within three years, they'll get a $2,500 fine, plus they'll get charged with reckless driving. This is a much more powerful message for the drivers. Reminding you, if there's ice and snow, take it slow and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.